Welcome back everyone, this is Apple TechSpot and today in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to use your DualShock 3 or DualShock 4 as a controller for games on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now this tweak was kind of just updated to support the DualShock 4 before it only supported the DualShock 3. So let's jump right in. Alright now all you guys want to do is open up Cydia on your iOS 7 based device. And once Cydia has loaded up, you want to tap on the search icon on the bottom right. And in the search, you want to type in controllers for all, just like that. And once you have done so, you want to click on the tweak. So here it is right over here. Tap on it. And there you guys go. Now this tweak is $1.99 within Cydia. However, it is well worth it. It is only 2 bucks, and that's not much. So as you can see, I have purchased the tweak. And... Yeah, once you have it installed onto your device, you can go back to your home screen. And once there, you want to go ahead and open up your settings application. Now, once your settings is open, you want to scroll down until you find controllers for all. So there it is right over here. Tap on it. And on the top right there, you want to enable it. And you want to go over to controller type. And you want to select your controller. So there's a PS3 controller and the PS4 controller. And under that, there's a pair controller button. So you want to go ahead and tap on that to pair your controller with your iOS 7 based device. So let's go ahead and tap on it. And I'll start up preparing the search. Alright, and here we are. It tells us to press down both the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time until the light starts to blink. So let's do that. Alright, and there you go. The light starts blinking vigorously. And before you know it, it's connected. So there you go, success, hit dismiss, and you can exit out of the settings application. All right, guys, so here we are. I have connected the DualShock 4 to my iPad because I thought it would be better for demonstrating the tweak. So here we are in Asphalt 8, which is a game that supports the tweak. All right, so here we are. As you can see, the DualShock's light is remaining on. That means it's working. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. I can use the left analog stick to move around. And I can use this um, R2 button or L2 button to break and drift around. And it's just so much fun using the controller. And it's just really awesome. And you can use this button right here, R1, to use the boost. And it works really well. And it's just so much better with the controller. And um, I'm really liking this tweak. It's, I think it's one of my favorite tweaks so far. Or actually, it might be my favorite out of all. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and take down some cars. This is elimination, I think, or knockout. All right, let's go ahead and do a trick right here. Woo! Yeah. All right. Let's go and do like a sprint. Ah, oh, dang it! All right, that was all right. <laughs> So it works really well as you guys can see over here. I probably said that a billion times now, but it really does, and it's just so cool. So let's go and take this. I think this is a shortcut. Oh, missed that jump. Come on. Alright. Let's take this guy out. <laughs> Alright, there you go. We took him out. Oh, do you see that plane? That was awesome. Alright, let's try to get this guy out. Right, let's do a little spin move. Woo! Sweet! Ah! Oh. oh, wait! <laughs> that was sick. I still made it. Landed right on top of that guy. Kind of sounded wrong, but okay. Alright, so there you guys go. That's Asphalt 8. Oh, it took down two cars at once. Thumbs up for that, guys. All right, and moving on, Dead Trigger 2 is another great game to take advantage of the DualShock 4 or DualShock 3, whatever one you're using. So let's go ahead and hit play. And here we are. So as you can see, you can look around with your right analog stick, and you can move around with your left one. So let me just go through this tutorial real quick. All right, and it does work really well, as you guys can see. It's really awesome. Um, gives you an advantage if you go online with any shooting game on iOS. 
And this tweak is definitely worth the two bucks that you pay for it. It's definitely worth it. I mean, the um, controllers that are made for the iPhone, they usually cost around $100, so you could use the DualShock 4, which is a much better controller, and you could get it for cheaper and play any game wirelessly. So it's really awesome. And yeah, let's go ahead and switch weapons. Oh, okay, you press triangle to switch weapons. And there you go. Let's get a headshot. So much easier to do with a controller than with the touch screen uh, controls. Uh, let's get some ammunition and let's move on. Alright, mission complete. Okay guys, now I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please throw me a thumbs up. That does help out so much. And more importantly, be sure to subscribe as I do have tons more exciting content on the way. This is Apple TechSpot. Have a great day, guys. Peace. Yeah,